This is Le'ilu Nishmas, Yosef Yehuda Ben Avram Avinu Robinson. He was a Gert Tzedek. He was a righteous man, a righteous Jewish American Haitian. Jamaican, excuse me. Jamaican. A Gert Tzedek. And I mean that with the full intention and the full meaning of the word righteous. He was a bridge. He started off as part of, of the blessing, a member of a gang. Came here as a teenager. He changed his life around. He saw religion. He was intense. Integrity. We have a lot to learn from him. What a better place to be right than right here, because you go a little further down this way, you mix in with the Caribbean Jamaican community. You go a little further this way, you mix in the Jews and the Orthodox communities, and they start to mix right here. So I believe it's uh, no mere coincidence that we'll be renaming this street after Yosef Robinson, who worked just around the corner. Nanny to his mother, was a Jewish, his mother was a nanny to a Jewish family in Borough Park, and they sponsored his immigration papers to come to the United States. The first job that he had here was at a kosher grocery store in Borough Park. So we see how everything comes back together. He was very proud of being Jewish, he was very proud of being Jamaican, and he saw color as no obstacle. And that's something we have to remember also. In the Shema, he said, the soul of the person that makes the person, and there are no obstacles there. Make sure that we were walking on the right path. We tried to convert some of us at times, but it didn't work. We make sure when he comes over, we turn on the lights at times. We can't cook certain things in the house. We had to hide separate pots and pans. We couldn't touch this, we couldn't touch that. And you know, he had us on a straight path. We had to dress modest before him, cover ourselves up, and those things which I have no regrets. I was here when it happened, but I still love you, Sir Robinson. My parents are from Jamaica, and they would love to be here. Fortunately, they're with my daughter. Sorry about that. But you know, they sent their regards and said thanks for everything that's coming that's done for our family, Mr. Robbins, and the whole community, because they're a bridge. And it takes steel to build a bridge. It doesn't need one or two whole lot. And here we stand as a bridge to send a message to the community. Stop the violence, it doesn't help. It's ruin our community, our children. So we could just stand together as one, hands in hands, heart together and stop the violence and support our children and community. Joseph reminded us that regardless of our culture, ethnicity, or belief system, we are all the same. Human beings trying to find our place in the world, all of us are on a journey to improve and help others do the same. Whenever we pass the street, we will remember Yosef and be inspired by his life. We, we will always strive to help others to be better and to make the world a more beautiful place to live. Now, Yosef is buried in Jamaica. Benji and I and a few others had the privilege of going and being part of the, uh, of the funeral and later the unveiling of his uh, stone there. But here, the fact that this street is now going to be named for him gives us here in this country, in this neighborhood, a concrete way of remembering him and of not allowing his memory to fade into oblivion. But the best tribute that we can give his memory is to continue his legacy, to be inspired in our own personal battles to not to give up, to be strong with our convictions and to remain true to ourselves and, uh, and to God. And I'm so happy in the face of that tragedy that we will have this street sign. That will be the bridge that everyone talked about, but people will stop at this corner. They'll stop time and again into the future and they'll say, who was Yosef Robinson? And they'll hear about your dad. They'll hear about your dad who was a man who brought people together who changed his life, 
who sought to protect people, who brought good in the world, who was a man of deep and abiding faith, and forever on this corner, in this borough, and in this city, will be an inspiration to all of us. And this street sign, just a simple piece of metal, will spread that message all over this neighborhood, borough, and city. So thank you all, and may God bless the memory of your St. There are two ways of living through your life. You can sow with tears, or you can sow with celebration. You can sow with despair and despondency, or you can sow with beauty, grandeur, and grace. And our scriptures are teaching us that those that sow with Rena, with celebration in life, with this internal, internal and eternal smile, will harvest the greatest reward in the world to come. That is truly the celebration of today. I grew up in Brooklyn. I lived for 12 years in Ohio, 19 years in Minnesota, and came back here five years ago to be the rabbi of this congregation. A very large contingent of my congregation are here to the left, showing their love and support for the family and for Yosef. Let me tell you, in the words of the kid who grew up in Brooklyn and in Flatbush, this is a different Flatbush. It's a different Brooklyn. It's a different New York. It's a great community, one that we try to respect each other's convictions, liberty and religious freedom. And God bless the entire community, the Jewish people and the entire world with peace, serenity, and celebration. And we merit the coming of the Messiah, Shiat Tzidkenu Nerev Yamenu. I would just also like to say that we know that when Jacob missed his son Joseph, at one point they tell they say, Old oh, Joseph Chai, that Joseph still lives. So that's what I want to say. And if you can join me, Old oh, Joseph Chai, Old oh, Joseph Chai, Old oh, Joseph Chai, oh, Joseph lives on. And his kid said it best, he was a hero. What does it mean to be a hero today? We have no concept of it. We open up the papers, we think that they're musicians or actors or perhaps even athletes, and we realize that really when someone's life is over, we can judge. And we know that Yosef Robinson was in fact a hero, and he was larger than life. And for that, we will always be grateful. And he was a hero not just to us, but to his kids, and to his family, and to his girlfriend, Mahava and to everybody who interacted with him. He made a difference that we will forever remember and commemorate here today. Mosoi, Vinoimar, 
Amen. Oh, Help. Thank you. Whatever refreshments are left, you're welcome to.